So, Pio, what are you uh, wearing today? Uniform. Why would you be wearing a uniform on Tuesday? Because it's a school day. Sophia, do you really think you're going to go outside of school? No. So, uh, today's remote day. Yay! And I'm off Happy Tuesday, remote learning day. Yay! No! Okay, happy Tuesday, happy Mardi Gras, happy Fat Tuesday. Snow everywhere. Super cold. Shorts and tennis shoes. Always. Shorts only all season. That's all I do. I gotta run to the store and grab some stuff. Aaron's gonna come out here and use the leaf blower to blow the snow off of our driveway because it's so fine and powdery. It's not wet and thick. So this ought to be interesting. All right, Sophia, what is going to happen in this episode of WandaVision? No one knows. No one what are your except guesses? For Wanda. What are you guys guessing? Um, probably Halloween. Halloween. Last week we learned Vision starting to realize that he's not really who he is. Daddy, what do you think is going to happen? I think Wanda. Wanda. I totally agree. I think Wanda is a villain. I do too. I could be. Rambo? No, not Rambo. White, white, The neighbor? No, I think it's Wanda. I think Wanda's controlling everything. She is. I think she can't deal with the fact that Vision is dead. You think she's... No, I don't think Wanda's in charge. He the Andrew. Well, but he's not the Andrew. Yeah, he is him. Is it him? Is it supposed to be him? Because yeah. it's, it's a different actor. We haven't figured that out yet. But it's supposed to be him, just a different actor? Well, this person is the American Horror Story guy, and I love him, and I think he's a fantastic actor. He's American Horror Story. What's American Horror Story? A TV show that you are not going to be allowed to watch. All right, well, we are in episode seven of WandaVision. This is a perfect show to watch today because it is a... Snow day. Snow day, but it's not even a fun snow day because we can't even go outside. You guys got to go outside and shovel for a little bit, didn't you? Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, we got to play outside for a little bit, but it is... Uh, Massively, still lots of snow. Chad attempted to go outside, and uh, how were the roads? They're terrible. Very quick, so. Yep. So we are spending inside, doing laundry, having a lazy day, and about to watch Wanda Vision. All right. So I had class online tonight, so that's why I couldn't vlog the actual making of it. But I made chicken fried rice tonight, and uh, clearly my chicken. A lot more than I thought there'd be, so it's chicken for it's gonna be lots of chicken. But I really wanted to make a meal today that didn't isn't gonna have a lot of leftovers because tomorrow is Ash Wednesday. And with it being Ash Wednesday, we can't have any meat for lunch or for dinner. And then I also, with us going out of town this weekend, so it's no meat on Friday, no meat on Wednesday, and then nothing for Saturday and Sunday. So I had to think of something. I was like, oh, I'll make chicken fried rice. That never has leftovers, and then that happened. So I'm really <laughs> hoping that we're going to eat all this chicken tonight because we can't eat it tomorrow or Friday or Saturday or Sunday. So what about Thursday? We could eat it Thursday, but that's just yeah, a little... I'll take it for lunch on Thursday. That's a lot of chicken to, to get down. So it, it, best, what, what's, what's the phrase? Best laid plans of mice and men. Best intentions of mice and... Something with mice and men. The best laid plans of mice and... Mice and you ever heard that phrase? No. Which I never really understood because I've read Mice and Men several times and I never really understand the phrase is best laid intentions of mice and men. Best laid plans of mice and men. Yeah, which I didn't really get because the whole book was about him and his brother and the challenges they had, so. I don't know. Best laid plans of mice and men end up with too much chicken. Okay. What are you working on? presentation for uh, school. I have to answer like 32 prompts. Students. What school? Masters. Eastern. So like this page says student discipline. 
Watch the drug search video and res and respond how your school handles this type of situation. If they've used them, and then respond in your model to collection. So then I, so I said, sadly, my school has had to have drug dogs come out for a few times in the past few years. There have been many, been two times in the past school year. There was a suspicion of a student bringing marijuana to school. It was reported to me by a student that one of their classmates was trying to sell it. As a mandated reporter, I reported to the administration who contacted the local police department very happily. There was not very happily there was no found evidence. There was, that doesn't sound good. Very happily there was. But uh, you're writing a paper right now. No found. Yes. It's easy, right? Not easy. Uh huh. You know why it's easy? Is there a, um, was it a three-year-old and a one-year-old tugging at your socks and pants right now? Like there was the first time around? No. Okay. The first time I got my master's degree, I did not survive it without Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, Bubble Guppies, and what else did we have to play for him? <clears throat> I don't know, but all the sippy cups that were all around the house. Sophia and her bouncing seat right there. <clears throat> She had to sit right next to me in that bouncer. All the as snot being rubbed on your pants as you're trying to sit there and do your homework. Yeah. And, and, and more Mimi. Yeah. And all the meltdowns because Mimi was over. This looks pretty easy. Okay, that... The environment to which I am doing my master's homework is much easier this time around. The first master's, Colton crying about not having enough Mimi, or Sophia sitting in the bouncing seat refusing to sleep. That was hard. All right, we'll turn it off. We we have no kids around us. This is wonderful. We have TV we can watch on ourselves. We did. We watched, no, two, we watched two no episodes kids. of the um, Swear shows. The kids so. are upstairs getting ready for their nightly routines, and it's wonderful. We did. We had uh, two more episodes of the History of the Swear Wars. Yeah. I think next we need to watch Strong History because I think we really like it. Yeah, maybe. Maybe a good one. Okay, so here's the end of our day. Yay, today was not very fun. It was a snow day, Daddy. It was a snow day. It was not a fun snow day. Go outside and play. So we had remote learning with the gremlins. It's not fun. We need to get out of the house. We're getting cabin fever. So um, hopefully we can get out of the house this weekend. It all depends on the weather, right? Yeah, weather? No, I think we just get out regardless. Just get out regardless? Hopefully the weather is going to be getting, well, I saw the weather report, and it's going to be getting better next week. Not the weekend, but next week. We're going to be out of these below freezing temperatures, so that should bring us outside more, hopefully. More things to do. Uh, so look forward to that. And hopefully you'll see us go out this weekend. That'll be really fun. Um, so keep tuning in, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. And remember, don't feed the gremlins. What do we have? Oh, yeah. Chicken fried rice, Chicken fried rice after midnight. <laughs>